beauties! So today I have recreated Zendaya's Met Gala or Met Ball look. Now her wig is obviously like an orange red and I didn't have an orange red wig so I had this kind of like peach wig. So I tried and it has bangs but the bangs are actually really long so I had to pin them but I tried to follow her makeup as close as I could. I'm pretty happy with how I did it. It is like Zendaya's look with a little bit of a twist like how I would do my makeup. So if you want to see how I got this this look and how to achieve a Zendaya like beauty which I hope one day that I can get even a fraction close to how beautiful she is but anyway if you want to find out how to do this look watch now so first I started off with a primer unfortunately my camera wasn't recording yet so you guys don't see that next I put on concealer and I concealed all of my breakouts and dark under eye circles Zendaya has beautiful skin and I just wanted to look as flawless as her, so I covered up all of my troubled areas. Next, I put a pretty dewy foundation on my skin with a beauty blender. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. She has a very dewy look to her for the Met Gala, and I wanted to copy that. Then for my body, I used the Fit Me foundation just because it's not as expensive and it is the same shade and coverage. Then her bronzer isn't that dark, but of course her features are very well defined. So I'm putting this bronzer in the upper part of my cheekbone to give that some de definition. And I'm also putting it on my jawline to make it more strong looking, more defined. I'm also putting the bronzer alongside my nose. She has a really well defined nose. I don't, so I wanted to define my nose a little bit better. Then I'm putting on blush on my cheeks and I'm using that almost like I would use a bronzer. I'm sweeping a good amount of it under my cheekbone and going up. And then I'm putting a setting powder under my eyes to make sure that that sets nice. Then I move on to my eyebrows. Now my eyebrows are a little bit tricky because Zendaya's brows are very, very bold in this look. They are very full and they're very feathery and they're very close together. So I wanted to accomplish that. So first I use a pomade and I kind of just trace out where I want my brows to be. Then I'm using a feather type of pencil and I'm filling that in and I'm constantly using the spoolie to blend it out. Then I'm using a thinner pencil and I am drawing hair like strokes into my eyebrows and I am putting them pretty close together. Zendaya's eyebrows are almost touching but they have a very nice fade to them. So that's why I'm constantly blending my eyebrows. Then I wipe away all the excess powder. Then I'm gonna move on to my eyelids. I start off using this MAC palette and I just use a nice transition shade. Now she has a very cat eye look in this, a very sexy, sultry look. So I'm trying to apply this just under my crease to make my eyes appear smaller and more triangular. And so I'm sweeping that out almost like a cat eye. Then I'm going in to my Too Faced palette and I'm grabbing a slightly darker transition shade and I'm applying that to my outer corners. Then I'm using a brownish red shade and I'm putting that into my inner corners. I then get a darker brown shade and I put that on my lower lash line about halfway. And then I get a white pencil and I fill in the other half of my under eye lash with that. I then go back in with a darker brown and put that just on the outer part of my upper lid. I then get a light white eyeshadow and put that just at the very middle of my eye, upper eyelid but not going too far up, just basically on the lash line. Then I get a mascara and I curl my lashes and apply the mascara. Now this part is a little time consuming. I get individual lashes and I'm going to put them all on separately. I use about 10 on each eye ranging from small to large sizes. Um, this takes quite some time so if you want to do individual lashes just know it's going to take you a little bit longer and it can be a little frustrating. Next, I moved on to my lips. My lips are a little lacking, so what I first did was just lined my upper lip and gave it a little bit of definition. And then she has a very glossy look, so I put just a clear gloss on top of it. 
Then I moved on to the highlighting. Now her highlight is on point. So I put a highlighter basically all over. She does a highlighter all the way in her under eye triangle is what I'd like to call it. So I put a dewy um, highlighter there. It is like a cream highlighter and I put it on my forehead and my chin and the tip of my nose and then I went over on the tip of my nose and on my cheekbones with a powder yellow white diamond highlighter. And that is the finished look. Thank you beauties so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not and comment if you want to see something else. Bye. Love you. Mwah.